Hello everyone and welcome to section 3 of the course Advanced Photoshop Tips, Tricks and Techniques. The name of this section is Advanced Image Retouching. The first video is called Advanced Resizing in Photoshop. So basically in this video I'm going to explain to you how to apply Photoshop scaling to your projects and after that how to use the noise reduction functions in Photoshop. But first of all let's open Photoshop. And you can see that I have this image of this smoke uh, prepared. And the thing that I'm going to do here is just uh, resizing this image and showing you the comparison between a layer that is a smart object. So basically, uh, when you're creating your layer as a smart object, you're allowing the resizing to be more smart, so to say. And I'm going to demonstrate how it works and how you can apply this to your uh, Photoshop projects when you want to do some kind of resizing of your layers. The first thing that I'm going to do is uh, changing the size of the canvas that I have here. So the canvas size is actually the size of the whole layer and the image size is the size of the particular image that we have on the layer. So actually uh, increasing the size of the canvas is going to add some additional space uh, to the whole layer and increasing the image size is just going to take the image and to change the pixel proportions to it depending on the settings we have set. So I'm just going to click on canvas size and after that uh, changing the dimensions from centimeters to percent and I'm just going to increase the width to 200% in order to have enough place to put the other layer to it. But before doing that I'm just going to make a very quick copy of this layer in order to have it doubled here. So I'm just going to select layer zero and holding control, pressing J on the keyboard and we have created our layer zero copy. Going back to the layer zero, to the image menu and canvas size, changing from centimeters to percent and increasing it to 200. The next thing is I'm going to set the anchor to be on the left. So uh, we're going to have the blank space on the right side in order to place our layer zero copy there. Pressing OK and we're done. So the next thing that I'm going to do is selecting layer zero, copy, control and T in order to transform it and moving it to the right side of this canvas. Pressing enter. And now we have these two layers on uh, a single canvas. And the thing that I'm going to do now is just uh, doing very quick transformation of this layer zero copy from a regular layer to smart object. I'm just going to press the right mouse button on it and finding somewhere convert to smart object. Clicking on it, waiting a little bit and now we're ready. So the next thing that I'm going to show you in this uh, education video is uh, how to resize the particular image, not the canvas. So it's from the same menu here on the top image and image size. So you can just uh, work with these dimension options here with the width and height and the resolution that you're going to apply to your um, picture. Actually, we have here preset the dimensions of the whole canvas, also the size of the image. And uh, here you have a preview of some of the objects on the image where you can decrease, actually zoom out here in order to see a bigger part of your image. So if you want to change uh, some kind of uh, dimensions of your image you're just going to change these values as you can see you can uh, attach the weight to the height and you can uh, detach them uh, so if i increase here from uh, this value to 300 let's say it's going to automatically change the height which is a very good option for you if you want to keep the original dimensions of your uh, image and just uh, change the width and the height uh, in uh, centimeters pixels etc so I'm not going to do any changes here. So basically clicking on cancel. And the thing that I'm going to do now is actually using the free transform uh, tool in order to make this uh, image smaller. So making sure that I have selected this layer zero, pressing control and T. And now I have selected our free transform tool. So as you can see here on the top, I have the width and the height that are set to 100%. So there are also um, the aspect ratio is uh, enabled. So if I change the value of the width, it's going to automatically change the value of the height. I'm just going to set it to 20%, let's say. Okay, let's say 20%. And now just pressing enter. So uh, we have um, decreased the size of this image to 20%. 
And I'm going to do exactly the same thing to this layer zero copy, control and T, and setting width and height to 20%. Okay, we're ready. So we have both images only on 20% of their original size. And we can just use them in particular situations when we want to have them uh, as a smaller object in our Photoshop project. But if you want to return their original size, you are going to see now the difference between a regular layer and a layer which is defined as a smart object. So I'm just uh, going back to this layer zero, clicking Ctrl and T, and increasing the size uh, from this 20% to another 50%. But as you can see here, it's no more 20% and now it's 100% to 100%, which means that Photoshop has uh, changed the whole dimensions of uh, this image and now we have it uh, like uh, from the beginning what does it mean so if we increase it to 200 percent it's going to be like 40 percent of the original image size so it's just uh, saving these uh, settings of the image so i'm just going to increase it to 200 percent pressing enter so i have it on 40 percent Doing the same with layer zero copy, control and T, but as you can see here, it is a smart object. So we have it still saved as 20% of the original size of the image. So I'm just going to increase it to 40%. Pressing enter. And so you can uh, see them both in uh, this way of 40%. Continuing to enlarge them, selecting layer zero, control and T, and adding another 100% to this size. So basically now it's 60% of the original image. I'm just going to do this one more time, Control and T. So actually I need to increase it, for example, with 150% or it's too much. So 130% or 125% is the right value. So it's actually getting this 100% uh, size that we have decreasing actually the whole image size. So uh, if it's uh, set to 20% at the beginning, after that increasing with another 100% is going to be 40%, increasing with another 100% is going to be 80%, and now increasing with 125%, it's uh, becoming again 100% uh, of the original size, pressing enter, and uh, increasing this layer zero copy to 100% from 40%. Okay, so we're ready now. So, actually the image I have selected is uh, with a very high resolution. It's something about uh, 4000 pixels in the width of it. So you cannot actually see so visible difference between these two objects, but uh, you can be sure that there is a big difference in their resolution now because uh, actually we have increased the size of uh, this not smart object layer. And uh, if I zoom in, you're going to see the difference in their quality. So this is the regular layer, and this is the layer that is defined as a smart object. You can definitely see the difference between the details of these two images. So you can see that here it's much more pixelized. You can see here how it looks very blurry. And if I move to the other image, you're going to see how much detailed it is. You can see it now, yeah? So um, this is the reason why we are using smart objects when we are scaling our images. I just want to make a quick note that uh, doesn't matter if you're using a regular layer or a smart object layer, uh, increasing the size of uh, the original image, I mean, if you want to increase it from 100%, 150%, there is going to be losing of quality. Definitely doesn't matter if you're working with smart layers or not. But this is a very nice trick if you are just uh, changing the size of your image uh, and it's uh, still under 100% of its original size, you can just use this smart object in order to preserve the quality of uh, the image. So the next thing that I'm going to show you in this video is uh, how to just a little bit the layer zero, which is a regular uh, layer using this uh, instrument uh, named noise reduction in Photoshop. So I'm just going to click on layer zero and maybe I'm going to deselect this layer zero copy in order to have only layer zero on the screen and zooming in a little bit. So if I want to apply a noise reduction to it, 
I'm just going to filter menu, finding noise and selecting reduce noise. So this is a very nice instrument that you can use in Photoshop when you want to modify somehow the strength of the details. You can also preserve details, reduce color noise and sharpen details using these uh, sliders here. And you can just use uh, settings that you have preset. So it's also available if you download some uh, preset settings or uh, create your custom settings. So there is also advanced option for uh, this uh, noise reduction. You can do it per channel. You can choose any channel you want, red, green, or blue, and uh, just modify the value of the strength of each channel. But uh, we're going to work with the overall modification of the noise reduction. So if you increase the value of preserved details, you're going to see here on the preview how it's uh, trying to preserve the details and making it a little bit uh, more uh, strength, so to say. I have the strength on 10, and if I increase the sharpen detail slider, you're just going to see on the preview how the details are being sharpened, and uh, you can see that uh, some of the noise uh, was removed here. We can also decrease the color noise if you want to, to do this, or just uh, increase it to the maximum in order to check the changes that are appearing on the image. So it's uh, not a big deal actually to work with this reduce uh, noise too. But uh, if you're working uh, with uh, some specific images with many details, you're definitely going to see the difference between the original image that was resized and more pixelized and uh, this image after applying this noise reduction uh, instrument. So you can uh, just uh, adjust it depending on the purposes of your project, all these uh, sliders here, but uh, I have briefly explained uh, how to work with them. So I'm just hitting OK. It's loading and you're going to see on the overall image how it has uh, changed a little bit the sharpness of the details and now it looks not so much pixelized. I'm saying again that uh, this image is very high resolution, so it's uh, definitely difficult to see this uh, so hard pixelization but uh, if you're working with uh, images with lower quality you will definitely see how they're getting very messy and very pixelized and uh, these few methods are going to help you to change this and take the lead over your photoshop projects so why is it important very often it's important to be able to scale your layers up and down in your photoshop projects combined with noise reduction your scaling is going to look much more professional as I showed you in this presentation. So you have learned how to professionally scale layers up and down and how to reduce the noise in your advanced Photoshop projects. 